find cos 510 to find this we should follow this method c here we have 510 now you should check 510 lies between which two multiples of 180 what i mean is 510 lies between 360 and 540 this is 180 into 2 this is 180 into 3 between these two numbers 510 lies next 510 is close to which number this is close to 540 so 510 now should be written as 540 minus 30 so this will become cos in place of this now we should write this 540 minus 30 this is your step 1 next cos now in place of 540 we should write 3 into 180 minus 30 next here we have 180 so cos is not going to change it will remain cos and inside we get this angle 30 now the question is will we get here plus or minus to answer that we should look at the number before 180 that is 3 and 3 is odd and all the odd multiples of 180 they lie in either in the second or in the third quadrant so now to select the quadrant we should look at this symbol here we have negative that means angle lies in the second quadrant and in the second quadrant cos is negative so we should put negative so negative cos 30 is root 3 by 2 this is our answer